Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing my latest haul. I have been meaning to actually film this video for a very long time. I haven't been able to do so just because work and the gym, that's pretty much my week routine gets in the way. As you have been able to actually see that I haven't been posting much since mid-August. And that is for the same reason that I have been just occupied with work with the family, doing the gym, and then on the weekends, sometimes I just don't have the time to actually film. I'm actually going to try, really try to give out a more high quality video. Um, I'm trying to see how I can work the camera, how I can do different angles and see what I can put together because I'm pretty much the one that has to set up everything and edit while I have my person behind the camera who I, who is actually going to shoot and sometimes he's only available on the weekends um, which is the only time that I'm actually able to film like outdoors that's why most of the videos that you see is like inside my home because this is the only time that I can actually film is it's during the week so but now that I have like work and I have the gym I have no time to get prepped for any type of video I am usually just wearing casual clothes and then gym attire I don't really dress out except for like Saturday and Sunday so I just got to get all that you know the hang of everything going back into routine and we should be good to go so the very first thing I'm gonna go ahead and get started with is um clothes so this one here is leather right now I wouldn't want to wear it just because it's really hot outside it's been really really hot here in Southern California um, these past couple days we have like the warmest days out of the whole summer and summer is pretty much close to being over but I doubt that's gonna happen here in Southern California it just does whatever it wants so um, this one I mean faux leather tends to be like I don't know it for me at least it makes me feel like I don't know like um it makes me want to break into a complete sweat so but I do love it I love the color so this is a skirt that I got and I tried it on it's a little bit tight on me from the hip area um it's a small but you know my goal is to actually fit slim down a little bit more so hopefully it'll have a good fit otherwise it's a little bit the slit falls like my leg is really really gonna show um because it kind of like stretches out um not in that in the sense that it'll stretch out because it's like one size um in that size there's no stretch into it so it's a one it's a slit um pencil full leather skirt in a tan color or camel color whatever you want to call it but like i said that's the only part where it's a little constricted on me it's that hip area and this part right here really really like there's a little small like little tear just because my leg you know but um i think it'll be fine i think if i slim down i should be good which is my goal anyway so it's not like i'm just gonna do it because i don't want to fit into the skirt i think that faux leather in warm colors like this really earthy tones including fringe are going to be very popular this fall season so i had to jump on the wagon and get myself a fringe skirt this is really cute it's a mini skirt in fringe it's suede um this one is from forever 21 i didn't think i mentioned the one from the faux leather that one's hot miami styles um this one is from forever 21 it was 22.90 so not a bad price the only thing with it is it is i mean for me the way the skirts fit it has to be um skirts can be very different in the way it wears on certain people for me if a skirt seems like it's going to be right below the bum or right below um or like above the knee i have to assume it'll be two inches higher than that for myself so this one is a mini skirt so i do have to be careful everything needs to be um because it's quite short and it hits right below my ass so i love it and i would love to wear it with like you know sandals or like even like some little french sandals or just wear them with boots during the fall time so i think that or over knee boots that would look really cute um 
also got this crop top as you know that is my favorite trend for whatever reason this past summer there was like very earthy colors but for summer for me i think of a wardrobe being bright lots of colors um just florals and stuff like that and this year it was a total fail that's my opinion i believe that this year it was a lot of boho or like 1970s 80s looks and stuff which is kind of not my style i tend to be more of a girl embracing my feminine curves and which is what pencil skirts and crop tops and that that's pretty much me so for me to have seen that there was nothing of color coming out this season i was kind of disappointed a little bit bummed because i was expecting a lot of bright colors i had some bright shoes that i wanted to wear and match with and i have been unable to find anything with color so especially for 21 they kind of sucked all over the place with their summer clothing it's just a bummer because i feel like i didn't get to dress up this summer especially with you know hints of color here and there nothing it was just earthy colors um well this one is from hot miami styles and it's a crop top and i like how it comes in a little bit from the top it is long sleeve so um i wouldn't be wearing this on hot days just because i feel if my arms are covered up i feel like i'm just gonna suffocate i feel like it's 10 degrees warmer than it actually is so i prefer this to wear it on a more cooler day um but these is really cute it's a really thick material it has a zipper on the back so i tried it on it's really cute i like that with um the the leather skirt i thought that would be really cute again sometimes i have problems with skirts let me tell you because of my bum i have problems with dresses sometimes because of my bum sometimes it doesn't fit like it should fit um my upper body is a little bit more slimmer than my lower body i'm a pear shape so sometimes it's a little bit hard to kind of predict what size i am um from the waist area usually if the skirt kind of stretches or if it's just like an a skirt um from the waist area i'm usually a small and i could fit into a small but depending on the dress if it doesn't give way if it doesn't stretch at all i might end up needing a medium and i hate trying out clothes when i am shopping at the mall i just hate it it's just something i rather not do um but I don't know why I never take out the tags from anything that I buy. I always try it out when I'm home. And sometimes I even walk out of the house with the tag still on. So that's how it goes with me. Like I try on the clothes here at home in the comfort of my own home. Rather than actually trying out at um, the little booths inside uh, the uh, boutiques or the stores. Um, and I ended up buying. I thought it would be really cute. I got this this uh, mustard or rusty colored um, dress and it's just a straight cut dress I thought it would look so cute with booties this is like very 70s 80s um, kind of style and I actually love this color I love this for the fall this color for the fall I love so I wanted to wear this with and I thought it would be nice because I tend form fitting and I wanted to actually go with something a little bit different I wanted to go with the dress you know kind of like 1980s um, 70s where it's a lot more um, just a straight cut and all you see is like your legs you know you're showing off your legs pretty much and I wanted to wear with booties but when I put it on before I actually put it on um, I ended up taking off the tag I put it on and to my surprise it did not fit how I wanted it to fit it was super tight on my ass and just definitely a no-no like from the top I mean I could probably wear it but I did not like how it fit I wanted it to be kind of loose now I have it without a tag and I couldn't wear it out I didn't wear it I was supposed to wear it last Sunday I ended up going with something else just because it didn't fit how I wanted it to fit so now I'm stuck with the dress and hopefully if I do slim down which I'll fit perfectly into the leather skirt and then into this dress it'll probably fit a lot better it'll still be kind of tight but it'll feel a little bit better now this is the other one it's just a um a nice shirt or blouse that would be just you know kind of casual you can always dress it up and this one is from forward 21 it was around 12 dollars. i like little pieces like this because they're not too um they're not like warm they're actually this is 
this is kind of sheer this is the first time i actually see that it's a little bit sheer but it's not a warm blouse so it's nice and cool for the summer days i also got this rusty colored like um pleated skirt i thought this was really pretty as well i got this from the loving cold loving contemporary or contemporary section of forever 21 and on a blouse that had like lace on the top and then just you know the rest of it was just um i don't even i can't remember what fabric it was but it just has this part at the top it was lace and i thought it would be cute but then this kind of like made it kind of bulky and i did not go with that i think that there would gonna i'm gonna have to look for something a little bit more tight and form fitting on the top just so it doesn't like make this area bulky but i think this is cute again with booties or like sandals really nice i actually think this is not part of like the things that i got in my haul but i think that would probably go good with it and then i got this like green hollow green trench coat long i already posted a picture of wearing it on my instagram if you don't follow me on my instagram is at gari Goyaso, and the link will be provided down below don't forget to subscribe or not to subscribe to follow um me on instagram so i wore this with some jeans and like a shirt i think i wore this shirt with it but um yes it's a really beautiful like nice trench coat and it wasn't so pricey either so i thought it was really really cute um i throw it over there because now it's time for the shoes okay i ended up getting a lot of things that were in a black color black it's a color that you can wear with anything unless you're wearing like a lot of colors or it's really, really light outfit like a really light colored outfit and maybe not but um black is something that i tend to wear quite a lot i have some color heels like i mentioned before but i wasn't able to find anything with color this season so i wasn't really able to wear it but we're gonna have a lot more warmer days and i'm gonna get to actually wear those heels um this is the first one this is a french and these are all from uh, Lola Chutique. They have a really nice selection of shoes and boots and all that. So these ones are from Lola Chutique and they have this like kind of looks like a fringe style. Like it wraps around your, your, um, your ankle and then it comes down over here. So you have a little fringe. So it's like a fringe sandal. Really cute. It's like a suede, suede material. Then I have this full leather booties zip up on the side and it has it's all laced up the front with the peep toe and they look really pretty and uh they are comfortable i wore them out already and they are very comfortable like i said i do post them up on my instagram so go ahead and follow me on my instagram and you'll be able to see them there and how they're being styled next one's up these ones here these are like a mesh booty i thought this was really cute and really um very chic but i want to say something like very urban so i thought this was really nice for especially with the like this sole here it looks like a combat like a combat boot almost and it's laced up as well with a peep toe this one's really have to lace it up it doesn't have a zipper so you have to tie them up that way but this ones are they're not that hot i mean they do kind of like if you're walking like two miles in it you're gonna get tired it doesn't matter what kind of shoe you wear you're about to get tired so i also got another thing with fringe and these are some booties also with the peep toe they have fringe all around and i actually want to wear this one with that um 70s 80s dress that i was showing you um, i wanted to pair it with that but i was unable to um it's a zip up booty so really cute also and then, as you can see they're all kind of a bunch of booties but um i also got another heel and this one has some gold detailing it's a pointed heel and it has this cross chain in the front so very nice something different than what i usually wear and that's the back it has a zipper on the back also from Lola Chutique. Um, let me see what else I have. I think I have one more to share and, or maybe not. No, I think that's it. Yes, that's it. 
so those are all the heels that i got and the outfits oh i oh, oh i forgot two the little things i'm just gonna add in there so i got these shades these shades are like a cat shaped i thought these were pretty cool something different than what i usually have and they're very chic aren't they very fashionable um i like the gold detailing framing the gold frame and then you know the cat shape and i also got this uh i think this is called the bond bond no that's not that's not what it is but this is a head wrap i got this from 421 i also wanted to wear it for sunday and i ended up because i had to go like with a different type of um like a different type of uh outfit completely so it did not go any i'm not even gonna try it on my hair's getting all messed up um I didn't get a blowout because I absolutely am, am to the point where I don't even want to like do my hair anymore. I just want it to just like dry without frizz and just really nice and smooth. Um, one more thing that I got. Oh, that's it. That's pretty much it. That is everything that I got. But I just wanted to film it because I have had this box in there for sitting there by itself for some time now. And I had, you know, I have to go put everything away like, you know. I'm holding on to them just because I wanted to film it. So finally, I can put everything where it belongs and wrap this all up. So thank you guys for watching. And remember that you can follow me on Instagram to see the latest post on fashion. Now, bear with me. Sometimes I don't post during the week because, like I said, I barely even have time to do any filming or even get my hair done. Um, so it's very hard for me right now. But I'm sure that once I get into my routine of how my schedule is going to be, I will be able to get more precise or just get something going pretty much and just you know make a habit out of it so i know that that's gonna be part of my regular routine so follow me on instagram so the links are provided down below and subscribe on here if you haven't done so i'll see you guys in the next one bye